Hello guys, what was that? United were leading two goals to nil in a matter of minutes in the first half. And we somehow found a way to draw that game against six-time Europa League winner Sevilla. I mean, what what was that from the players today? I, I mean, Ten Hag must be scratching his head and 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 thinking and wondering, what was that? How did we lose? I, I, I mean, I, I'm I'm tempted I'm tempted to say we lost that game. We lost that game because it's going to be difficult in Seville next week in their home stadium. It's going to be absolutely difficult. You know, I think it's, it's about time the players, you know, start, you know, taking some responsibilities because, you know, we, we saw something similar against Everton. Everton were a poor side. And despite the number of chances we missed on Saturday, lunchtime kickoff. We ended up winning that game by two goals to nil. Not against Sevilla. You, you, cannot, you cannot do that against Sevilla. And that's what we did today. We were very nonchalant. There was a level of unseriousness from all the players. And, I mean, I, 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 it's, it's, it's horrible because I'm, I'm trying to see the positives of, of going into uh, the second leg next week. And it's, it's grim. We, we've, we've lost Bruno Fernandes to a suspension today, right? He's going to miss in the next leg. Yellow card accumulations or whatever, I don't know. Of course I know. Yellow card accumulations. But Lisandro Martinez, who's been one of our better performances you know, in, in our team, is out injured. So we're going to be rocking up to, to Spain next week, sunny Spain, okay? We're going to be rocking up to Spain next week without our key players. Everything was bad today. Every damn thing was bad today. We, I think we underrated Sevilla. We thought it was going to be easy. Or we couldn't believe our luck. We got into the game, you know, you know, a couple of chances. We got a ball in the back of net. It was an offside, and you know, the players, you know, started having that confidence that you know, it's going to be a stroll in the park. It's going to be a walk in the park. We're going to beat Sevilla. They, they, they were Sevilla were rubbish in the first half. I'm going to say, but when you don't put away your chances in a game such as this, in a game with this magnitude, you're always going to be punished, and that's what happened today. We were punished by Sevilla. We had chances to kill that game. Even in the second half, we had chances of chances to kill that game. And we kept on misplacing the passes. And when, 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 uh, when Anthony struck the bar, and in a couple of minutes, we, we saw a triple change by, by, by Eric Ten Hag. I, I knew that game was gone. Because if Anthony had put that chance in and it was 3 0, maybe, just maybe, we would have found a way to win the game. But. We didn't. We didn't score that chance. They hit the upright. We made three changes, which also were negative changes at that point because the game was still early. In the 59th minute, it was still early, and I I understand. You know, Marshall has not been fit, and you know we, we're trying to give him some minutes, and you know his workload. We all have to be you know particular about that and all. I understand. Okay, but the other changes, I mean. Elanga hasn't had the best of what ten months to get about. He's 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 been out of the team. He's been out of form, and Elanga found a way to, you know, you know, he was on the pitch and he couldn't do nothing. He didn't affect the game. He was basically just strolling. He was horrible, and. Val Vegas, the, the less said about Val Vegas, the, the better. I, I mean, he's going to be done with us, right? At the end of um, you know the summer, we're going to be shipping him back to Burnley. I mean, credit to the guy. He's a hard-working lad. He runs for the team. You know, whatever the manager wants to put him, he's always available. I mean, kudos to you, Val Vegas. But you're not a Man United quality player, and I'm sorry about that, Val Vegas. But... 
you have the opportunity to put this game to bed. I mean, you had it. It was it was right in front of you. And then you, you, you give the ball back to Malaysia, who's not scored a goal for Man United. We're looking for a goal. Find a way to score. We, we saw Anthony Masia. I mean, that's the only positive we had today. Anthony Masia. I mean, he, he ran that game from start to when he left the pitch. He was our best player, all right? He was our best player. And, you know, a couple of players today need to hang their heads in shame. I mean, um, I, I don't like criticizing players, but it's about time our players took a huge amount of the blame. I'm sick and tired of people always saying the manager is bad, he made bad decisions and all that. I mean, we've, we've, we've had a poor result and there's going to be a lot of overreactions. Some may be justified, some maybe not justified. But we're going to have this kind of, um, you know, reactions when we get a poor result like this. But I think we, we, we can, you know, let the manager off the hook. He's, he's coached a 5 nil game today. My United players who listen to Eric Ten Hag, who listen to the gaffer, and go on that pitch in our home stadium, should be winning that game 5 nil. Moving on top of Sevilla, they, they couldn't get anything right. They were struggling. They were, they were abysmal in the first half. And in the second half, we, we just, you know, the game was just you know, given to them on a platter. They didn't, they didn't struggle for it. They didn't hustle for it. Not at all. We gave everything to Sevilla. And, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame because we've got um, a tight schedule with couple of key players missing. Marcus Rashford is missing. Look sure at the manager isn't too sure on when he's coming back. But I heard he's gonna be missing two or three games. But in games like this you see the reason why we need to you know go deep and hard in the summer to buy a couple of players. The earlier the takeover is, is over and we have a new one at the better for everyone because we're sick and we're tired of the whole you know, what's going to happen in the summer because games like this tells a lot about our score. Games like this, you know, you feel that we 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 didn't have the the guys on the bench who could come in and change the game for us. I mean, Christian Eriksen is back from injury, super player. He's going to take some time to you know get to speed. And I think it was the same with Casemiro today, who was off his game. I mean, he made a couple of wayward passes, but I'm going to forgive him for that. He's been suspended and the, the, the three times Casemiro has been in the team after a long absence of the first time when he came into the club and you know, the gaffer was giving him some minutes here and there, you know, for him to get his, his match fitness and all that. And he was, he was struggling and he got into his rhythm and he was our best player. And after the suspension, when, when he came back, you know, the, the first suspension he had against against um, Leeds, against Crystal Palace, I beg your pardon, he had some difficulties gelling into the team. And I think it was very evident today because he was way, way off it. I mean, we, we, we know Casemiro's quality, top guy, but he was off it today. And I'm going to forgive him and also Christian Eriksen. But every other player, by Anthony Martial and Marcel Sabisa, I mean, Anthony had a good game. But the rest of the players, woeful. Well, I mean, woeful. The, the fullbacks today, the manager came with a plan where we're going to play inverted fullbacks with um, Erwan Bissaka and Tyra Malasia, you know, in the midfield positions and, you know, narrow with the, with the centre backs. And they just listened to the gaffer in the first 25 minutes and threw everything out of the window. We struggled to get dominance we we were we were poor we were poor absolutely poor and where, where do we go from here where do we go from here where do we go from here up next on on sunday we were we're off to the city ground against Nottingham forest who are fighting to stay in the league and we've not had the best of locks away from home it's it's gonna be a tough one what i mean i mean critical three weeks in our season because we could throw everything out of the way. We could 
you know, finish the season with, with them fighting to finish in the top four. Because the game against Sevilla next week Thursday is not guaranteed. I mean, I... Wow. We are going to one of the toughest grounds in Europe to get a result. And let's not, let's not go into penalties now because, I mean, we only have to win in Sevilla. We have to win, like, win and win convincingly well. Because we, 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 we saw what happened today. They were not in the game, and in less than how many minutes, they were back in the game. And in their home stadium, with the backing of the fans, which they will have, we know the Spanish fans are very passionate. It's going to be a difficult act for our players. And well, we've got two away games, and after that, we go to Wembley against, against Brighton. I don't know when Marcos Rashford is going to be back. I don't know. The manager doesn't know. The um, the club said he's going to be missing some games. But we don't know if he's going to be fit for Nottingham Forest. The manager hasn't told us anything. So we are in a difficult position at this point. We've lost Lissandro Martinez today. It, he was, you know, he was running, moving out with the ball. And... You know, a very harmless, you know, tackle. He, he wasn't tackled by anyone. He got injured. And if history will, will serve us right, injuries like that are always severe, are always um, bad. And I don't know. It's difficult for us at this point. And the only thing I can say is this. We just have to keep the faith and hope for the better and also hope for the best. Because um, if you if you talk to Eric Ten Hag today, you know if you speak to him you know, away from the cameras and ask him, what do you think is going to happen in the next few weeks? And he will be like, I have no idea. Because looking at our performance today, where we were on top of our Spanish positions and threw the game away into the wind, like we blew it away. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough next week in the Ramon Sanchez P1 Stadium in Seville. And it's going to be difficult. I know, I know, I know, I know for sure it's going to be difficult. And um, we just have to be hopeful. They are the guys who play while we are the ones who watch and support. So we have to hope for the best because our season cannot go into Tatas. Our season cannot go into the drain. No! We cannot allow that happen. Come on, United players. We have to, you know, go next week you know, against Sevilla and win the game and win it convincingly well. All right? So you let me know what you think, what went wrong. The manager make um, a couple of weird substitutions. Do you think the substitutions affected us in the game? Let us know in the comments and we will get back to you. I mean, it's been a pleasure having a post-match reaction, you know, of you know, the post-match analysis of the game. And um, I remain Sebastian, and it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you guys. So drop your, your comments in the box, and we'll get back to you. And don't forget to like our page, you know, subscribe. You can send it to your friends, and we will appreciate that you know, from the deepest part of our hearts. So, you know, keep it locked. We'll be back on Sunday for the match day, which is against Nottingham Forest, another difficult game. But good, good in my United. I'm expecting us to, you know, get that three points and, you know, move up the table. So do have yourself a great evening and enjoy your night. Goodbye.